Or do I keep running just because of this one? fight every night in that shithole. Just show some respect next time. We've run far worse than you out of town before. Oh, come on, man. Someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother pretending different. As far as I care, you ain't even here. Okay. Get your head out of your ass. Your friend had worse coming. I let him off easy. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Alright. We've been to Valentine's quite some time. So while we're here, this is the gunsmith. Let's get our guns cleaned up a little bit. Out of the damn way. And then we'll, uh. Hmm. Do come in. So, what are you aiming for today? Well, let me know what you I want. I forgot you brass it all that way. What revolves you? I don't want to rock. No, revolve. Why not? Why? Hey, look. Carry it with pride. Excited to try this. Old what Crawford of Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you. Or do I have to claim myself? I think I have to claim myself. Now that I have two guns, one for the HF, yeah. See ya. Evening. Alright, so I need to do this. You want this? Yo, we got shot, idiot. Howdy, sir. You know what? I forgot I'm just in the middle of the street just playing a weapon. I wonder how screwed I am. I usually... Okay. Five bucks? Okay. I'll kill more people later. Actually, while we're back in Valentine, I know this is probably a different episode by now, let's go ahead and buy more supplies, because food's amazing. I feel like that's been a problem I've had lately. It's just I don't have food. Back for some more provisions. Got everything you need. Have a look. What do I have I can sell? All right, then let's have a look. Need. That's done.
Then I'm over here in 82 bucks. I need food. I what kind of food do you have? I need anything. like food. Oh, let's do canned food. Mm. That'll do. Now, what the heck? Go back for a second. I saw the hunting and fishing stuff, and I'm like, wait. Hold on a minute. No, they're now not the time. Arrows, I, I kind of need. Pocket watch. What's the current time? I have plenty of pocket watches. Wait. My pa got killed in this okay, store that's useless. when I was a boy. I thought it'd be more useful than that. I'll let you look around some more. Alright, I got a decent bit of food. I got some money out of things. Let's go take care of this lady friend. Woohoo! Standard point. That increases percentage. <laughs> I probably should have hit the horse all the way here. I should have hit the horse. Pitch too, which is the worst part. Eh, it's not that far of a run. We do need to get our stamina up still. Alright, let's see how dumb this is gonna be. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is um, uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the... Nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? This person keeps walking back and forth. We're gonna help Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell. Oh, not again! The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. 
I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. Like you, have a you already lot. owe me. You ever had, you, have you ever experienced like that awkward conversation with an ex of the first time you've like talked to him since you've broken up? That's what just happened. I mean, I'm fully aware of that experience that happened to me last week. Come on, boy. Well, you really don't want to talk to, but you, you but. Alright, let's go see if we have a nice, peaceful trip to Mary Linton. Probably get a new horse, too, I'm thinking about it. Let's see what kind of events we can walk into. Maybe we can find... Animals to kill. Who cares? Alright, so, for the hunting challenge number two, we have to find two animals, basically. They're not the same animal, and kill with one dead eye. Dead eye is kind of bad at the moment. So, if we're gonna do this, I'm gonna need the good old fashioned repeater. Give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mine takes Are you me freaking back. kidding me? Oh, I must, well, I, mean, I got this stranger quest anyway. I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. Yeah. That fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But yeah. Biscuit? He was a fine animal. Loyal. Smart. Yeah, go your husband. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey. He says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains, something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left, especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. 
Oh, we're getting close now. Yeah. I'm gonna take the road out there for ever long. <laughs> Oh, maybe I'm all right, people. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Better reward. Ooh! Appreciate it. Oh, her wedding ring. What a lousy day. All right, how far did that take me out of my way? God dang. Alright guys, if I have another ramble counter, you'll see me. If not, I'll meet you there. Actually, call it here. Because we've been recording for how long? 40 minutes, we said we were going to be 20.